bored. I'm here to listen to stories. I'm excited. <laughs> Come tell yeah. all the stories. Okay, well, I am here with Paul Bowhill. Uh, you might recognise him from Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, but uh, we're here, he's here today as part of Direct Collections Bailiffs Limited. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, because I'm sure you have one hell of an interesting life. I have, some of which <laughs> we can talk about and some of which we can't. Oh, is that one of you have to kill me if you talk about That's it? That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I didn't ask. <laughs> Essentially, I've been in the law enforcement industry for over 50 years. Wow. Although I don't look that old, I know. No, not at all. No. I was saying 25 at a push. No, that's true. On Tinder, I'm 55. <laughs> in reality, I'm over 70. But yes, I was a policeman in the West Midlands, trading standards, customs and excise, working for the other side in insolvency, uh, and then became a sheriff's officer yes. in those days, <laughs> and in later times, an enforcement agent working for DCBL. So how did, obviously we know you from uh, Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, how did that all begin? We were approached by a television production company to see if we would participate in the programme of our bailiffs. Mm -hmm. Now that could very often be a double-edged sword, yeah, so I can imagine. a lot of companies wouldn't handle it. Yeah. But we were sort of the new lads on the block, so we gave it a go and it's become incredibly successful. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to specify why, in as much that it's a reality television show, it's not practiced, no. there are no reruns. Anything can happen. But it's telling <laughs> the story of everyday life. And the only difference to that is that Steve and I, my yeah. partner on the show, I stress that because people <laughs> think we're married, is, is that uh, we've applied a human element to it. Yeah. So we, we, we set out successfully to change the face of the industry. Yeah, and I think you definitely have because it's not just a show where the whole point is, no, we're going to go and take everything you own. You really do try and help people when you can. Right. So there's a lot of people out there who are genuinely in dire straits, yeah. not because of their own stupidity, although a lot of them, it is their own fault. But it's but one we of sort those, out the good from the bad. Yeah, you try and give a helping hand to someone who maybe just needs that little extra help at the moment. That's and right. if you can't, unfortunately, sometimes it has to happen. Yeah. That's what we do. So, talking Easter. of helping people, you actually do a lot of charity work as well. Yes. Do you we, want to we, tell we, us a bit about that? Well, DCBL supports a lot of charities. Yeah. Children's hospice, uh, children with cancer, various issues um, over a long period of time. And Steve and I go as VIP guests to probably one or two charity events a month. Oh, I mean, I did a charity zip wire <laughs> down Bournemouth Pier about three weeks ago. Oh, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the jump out of the aircraft at 10,000 feet. Maybe, we, yeah. Climb a mountain first. It's... No, nothing strenuous. <laughs> Okay, someone else can climb a mountain and you can sit on their back like a piggyback? No. <laughs> it's still too much. Too <laughs> Oh, but there's a lot, of, it's quite nice to hear that there's a lot of uh, charity stuff going on. There is, so yeah. you can use your, your face for yes. face for good. That's right. That's a, well, well, well said. <laughs> now, I've got to ask, you are wearing a stab vest, I think. Was that just for me? Are you worried I'm going to attack you? Or? No, no. I mean, after I've finished here. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go down the local pub and I'll do stripper grounds. But that's only on Friday and Saturday. <coughs> I hate to tell you, it's a Wednesday. Is this a Wednesday special? No, that's okay. So that's there's a the drink involved. <laughs> special night. Well, no, the vest is actually bulletproof, 9mm oh. proof. Is, do you need that a lot in your life well, work? No, no. Hopefully, we'll only need it once. <laughs> like, but, but, good point. Yeah, we upgraded recently because okay. the threat level is quite intense. Bit we high. don't know what's on the other side of yeah. any door. So we could be knocking six or eight doors a day. So any one of those could have uh, a yeah. disaster on the other side of it. So better to be safe, safe than sorry, really. 100%. Now I've got a couple of uh, this or that quick fire questions for you. Are you yes. ready? Okay, I want, it's just, just a bit of fun. Tea or coffee? Tea. Good man, solid choice. Uh, early bird or night owl? Both. Both? Winter or summer? Summer. PC or Mac? PC. Uh, wine or beer? Both. Uh, football or rugby? Rugby. Uh, crossword or Sudoku? Neither. 
It's all right. You can have the wine no, instead. No, I'm going to get it. Cats or dogs? Sorry? Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dog, Dog three. Good choice. I've got a German Shepherd. They're brilliant. And finally, Iron Man or Batman? Iron Man. Of course it's got to be Iron Man. He's so cool. Uh, and it's a question. We'll finish with a question I've been asking everyone all day. What is your favourite piece of stationery? Um, if it were to be a piece of station equipment, yep. bear in mind the line that we're in. <laughs> I would prefer a nail gun a nail to gun. a stapler. <laughs> I like that though, you're thinking of multi-purpose. That's right, yeah. We're not doing writing notes, we're no, going to no, nail no. gun for this. Yes. Well brilliant, it's been lovely chatting to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope people stop by your stall. Yeah. Say yeah. hello. <laughs>